What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we're actually gonna start working on our lock-on system so that we can finally get our combat system fully working with player health and hit detection and all of that stuff. But before we get started, I actually wanted to special thank my precious, precious, very precious, I love you very much, patrons who are supporting my channel and getting the project files in return. So if you guys want the project files or you just want to support my channel and help me make more tutorials, uh, make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, make sure to join my Discord server. I haven't said that in a while, so yeah, I'm here I am saying it. Join my Discord server. And yeah, this is pretty much everything, so let's get started. So, um... Um, the first thing I'm gonna do in this video is I'm actually gonna change all of these to the black color that I made for the stuff that I don't want to use in my project, like in my final project, so I just made them all black. Then I'm gonna go to my blueprints and this is where we actually start. So the first thing we want to do is add an interface for the lock-on, like a function for the lock-on in the interface. So. I'm just going to click add new function and I'm going to call it lock on lock on and the input will be called um well first we're going to create two two inputs the first one's a boolean and I'm going to call it locked on here we go and the second one is actually going to be an actor so we're going to change it to an actor this one object reference and what we're gonna call it is um, locked onto so this is the character the actor that we're locked onto here you go okay now I'm gonna compile and right now uh, okay we're also gonna add it to the enemy combat um, category why did I add enemy? Just combat. Yeah. Even this one. The attack. I'll just make, add it to the combat. Okay. Now we're gonna compile and we're gonna go to our BP base, which is our character blueprint. We're gonna go to the combat graph, which we've worked on a lot. And over here, we wanna create a new event. I'm gonna uh, like we're gonna call the event that we created which is the event um, lock on so event lock on and uh, this is where we start to actually code so from this one you want to promote the locked on to to a variable which is um like this is basically the character that's that your whatever character is using that event is locked onto. So I'm just gonna call it the same thing if, if they let us locked onto. Yeah, it worked. Okay. And uh, we're also gonna add a branch before the locked onto. So we're gonna create an. Um, no, the true is gonna be is valid before the set and the input object will be locked onto al also and if it's valid we set the locked on now what we want to do is we're actually going to create another variable and i'm going to call it locked on i'm not sure if they let us use the same one we'll see yeah they let us okay so we're going to create locked on which is also a which is a boolean and um, what you want to do is you want to connect it to the condition so if it is locked on no no wait 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 okay uh my my head's getting mixed up <laughs> mixed up okay no problem uh so the condition is this one i think and uh, if it's false what you want to do is you want to set the variable we just created which is set locked on no set lo locked on and basically if it's locked on and the branch happens you want to set it to false if it is true you want to set it to true so we're gonna set it to true over here why we can just drag it here and set locked on and connect it and make it tr true 
And next, what we want to do is we're actually going to set the orient rotation to movement from the character movement. And uh, what this does is it changes your control type to be more like a lock on control type so that you kind of like the character always look, looks at the like not always looks at but the control type changes so that it's now more strafing than actually walking where the camera is looking. I think I explained it in episode one what this one does so you can just backtrack if you haven't understood my quick quick explanation of it right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it get the character movement and set orient without set just orient and I added a double a which is a problem yeah set orient rotation to movement so right now it's true and um, we want to disable it if we're actually locked on because we want it to control differently when we lock on so after the so after you set locked on you set this one to be false and you just copy it and paste it over here and make it over here true make sure to connect the character movement to both i'm gonna place it over here and maybe i'll add a reroute node so that it's more organized like this okay perfect now I'm gonna compile and save. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to our normal event graph and we're gonna, from the event tick, we're gonna add a branch. And the condition will be locked on. Basically, we did the the part where, um, we, ba we made the variables part and we made the orient rotation to movement part right now we're actually going to make the character rotate to what he's looking at and stay locked onto it so if it is true we want to get an is valid node and the input will be the locked onto So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it actually look at the character. So we want to get the actor location of the locked enemy. Get actor location. And we're also going to add the actor location of the character himself. So just get copy this one and the target is self. Now we want to make it look at whatever we want. So we want to get actor, no, find look at rotation. Yeah, find look at rotation. The start will be the self location and the target will be the enemy location, which is the locked onto. So over here, like using the target he looks at whatever he's locked onto which is the character location of the enemy and the start is his location himself and what we want to do now is split struct pin because we only want our enemy like our character to move on the z-axis so we're only going to use the z axis so this is where we connect it to the is valid if it is valid then we want to set actor rotation and the new rotation we're, we're also going to split it because we only want the z again and uh, we want to connect them together and for the other two we're actually going to get the self rotation so get actor rotation and we want to split this one and make sure the target is self and yeah i think this is pretty much it yeah if it's not valid or if it's false we're not going to do anything so let's compile sorry guys it's been a few days since i first 
recorded this video but I couldn't complete it and I kind of you know got lazy and bi very busy uh, in the past like six days so yeah here I am completing it now actually I was kind of stuck it wasn't working and now I know why uh, over here in our sphere trace what we want to do is we want to split this struct pin and instead of um, this locked onto variable I'm gonna delete this uh, we're gonna connect the locked onto to out hit hit actor and basically this makes us lock onto the out hit hit character which is like uh, whatever actor it hits which is a character so yeah I'm gonna try the alt key which is my lock on key and as you can see we can no longer turn around like before and it has lock on controls but she kinda doesn't rotate around with this um, movement type so yeah we're gonna fix that in the next video which is gonna come out tomorrow now I'm really really sorry that we couldn't actually finish the lock on in this video because that's what I planned but uh, yeah it, it took way too long and I don't want to make the videos too long like before I think um, around 10 to 15 minutes is better and honestly it just needs some tweaking i'm gonna figure it out and i'll teach you in the next video but yeah make sure that you have the same gameplay as my character when you press the lock on i mean make sure that your character starts moving around in the directions and does not turn because that's what we want for the lock on and then in tomorrow's video we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix the rotation we're gonna make it rotate to the enemy so yeah this is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for more devlog videos and tutorials and yeah guys see you in the next video take care and bye